polishes for I guess summer <laughs> but yeah I used to work as a nail technician so I've done nails for a really long time but I have had the ugliest 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 nails um, I got really really used to having acrylics on um, and then I went from acrylics and I started working with gels so I used to I got really really used to having gels on and I could never actually grow my own nails so this um, last year, I guess, I guess, yeah, probably about this last year, I've been trying really, really hard to, well, one, stop biting my nails, because that was my big problem, or that was a big problem, um, and let them grow. So I have basically stopped biting my nails entirely. They're still very weak, like they grow in weak, um, so they do tend to break a lot anyways, though. So this is what my nails look like now. This is like my goal length for all my nails. If they could all look like that, I'd be like the happiest person alive. Um, but they're not too bad. And I will show you what two, technically, um, three colors I have on these nails um, right now. But first I want to talk about my uh, base coat. And this I think has honestly been the reason my nails have been able to grow um, as long as they are right now. Because again, I have weak, like flexible, just like break, not even break, they um, kind of like crack in the corner and like tear. Um, and what I've been using is um, this, English, English, it's all the same, okay, so it says it's Sally Hansen Hard as Wraps um, Powerful Acrylic Gel, and I don't know exactly what it is, um, it's just like a shiny base coat. Um, but it's not just nail polish, like it's got acrylic, it's got some sort of acrylate in it. Like it, I guess it smells pretty much just like nail polish. I want to say it smells a little bit like some sort of acrylate, but I'm not really sure. And of course, typical me, I got rid of all the stuff that came with, so I don't know what's actually in it. But it is, it is a very like noticeable difference like one coat of this before I do my nail polish and it's like the world of difference like as far as like how my nails feel and how strong they are especially right on the tip so this I absolutely swear by this is the best thing that I bought like the best base coat that I've ever bought and I've gone through and I've gone through a lot of them so if you have weak nails like me I strongly recommend checking this out um, and now for the colorful stuff. Um, I've been really into bright, bright colors. I've been into a specific brand in particular, and that is Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Um, I am impatient um, with my nails, and I need them to dry really, really fast, <laughs> basically. But not only that, I mean, I can, I can hold still if I need to, but I hate having to apply several coats. You know, one coat's great, I can do two, but um, the whole thing that sparked the, um, I guess the pastel nail for me anyways, the minty nail, is this color. And it's not the color you probably think it is. It is not refreshment. This is like really, really old. Ooh, how old is this? This is from when I worked in Mexico in the nail salon. So this was um, 2007. I picked this up. So this is four years old at least. Um, and this is called Groovy Green. And it is, it's just a very pastel, I don't know if you can see that, very pastel green color. But I swear to God, you need like four coats of this to make it look decent. And once you get four coats of this stuff on, it just doesn't dry. So I love it, but it wasn't working for me. So I went to the store and I wanted to buy something else and I wound up with these three. Now, I am wearing right now this one on my nails. This is Jade Jump. Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and you can't really tell, I was just fooling around to see the difference, so you probably won't be able to see uh, the tip here, 
But on the tip, I did like a French with um, Essie's Turquoise and Caicos, um, which is definitely a little bit more on the blue side. This is definitely more green. This is a little bit more blue. But if you're in love with this and want to find a cheaper alternative, this one looks pretty darn similar. And then I also picked up this one just for fun and I absolutely love it. I did my nails with this I think like the minute I came home. And this is Brisk Blue. And um, I took a picture of it on my phone. Maybe I'll like insert that picture in here. It's like super, super pretty color. And then I was there again a couple of days ago and I picked up four more colors. I got Snappy Sorbet, which is this peachy color. And this is nice. It's got a little bit of a silver, like a silver shimmer to it, a silver sheen, I guess. Whereas most of them have been uh, cream finishes. Um, and the other one with the silver sheen Oops. is this one. This is the one I have on this finger. And this is Lively Lilac which just looks like that. And then the other two I picked up are cream finishes and I've got Lightning and Speedy Sunburst. So Lightning and Speedy Sunburst. This is like bright, bright yellow. And this is a like crazy hot, like hot, hot pink. Um, and that's all like the new ones that I've picked up. And then I just have two more that I'm really, really in love with. These are a little bit older. These are from a couple of years ago. Um, this is OPI's Don't Be Coy With Me, but if you have Orange You Glad It's Summer, this is definitely a little bit more orange, this is a little bit more coral, but these are almost identical. And the other one is this one, you are, You're Such a Kabuki Queen, and I love this for my toenails, it's like almost like a blue toned pink, but it's like super, super, super pretty. And as far as like summer colors, that's pretty much it. Um, soon I'll be going back to my staples, which are these two, um, mostly this one. This is like my all-time favorite nail polish, like in the world ever. And this is OPI's Creme de la Kremlin. This is like from a collection a couple years ago, and I really want to get another one of these. Um, but this one is Essie's In Stitches, and this is very similar too, but these are like my go-to like year-round colors. But that's pretty much it. Those are my favorite nail polishes for the moment um, for spring and summer. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's over here. Thumb me up. There's a little subscribe button up here. Click that if you want to see me every single time I do this. Um, if you're not really sure, click it anyways because apparently I don't update very often so you won't have to see me too often and leave me a comment and I will see you in another video.